Hi, if you're creating a game or you just need shadows, you might want them pre-baked because it doesn't use that much memory. So in this case you have to bake shadows and if you want to do it you came to the right place. So this is an example of baking shadows. So as you see there's shadows and they're not calculated in real time. They're actually just a texture, I see ground, for example, and it's only the texture which you can draw or you can bake. So if you don't want to draw all the shadows and stuff, just watch and learn. So let's open a new scene by pressing Ctrl N and press mouse. Okay, so yeah. Now delete camera and lamp because we don't need it at the moment. Don't need them at the moment. And okay, so if we if you want texture thing, you you have to UV unwrap it first. You might know it already, so just. Change time lapse to UV image editor and go to edit mode of plane. Then press U to UV mapping settings. Press project from U and you unwrapped it. Uh, so in this case, it unwraps some kind of smallish. So I'll just scale it by pressing S. Yeah, I'll better show screencast keys, yeah, so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we need texture, and texture is in 2D, so we need an image. So let's create new image on like 256 on 256 pixels, and let's call it ground. Okay, let's press OK and pose a little bit plain, whatever you like. So, yeah, now when we have texture, if you want to look at it, press Alt Z or go here and press texture mode. So, this is exactly what you see here, but in 3D space. Well, this tutorial is not about UV and wrapping, so maybe somebody else will explain it. Okay, so if you want to bake it, you first create a material. So going to materials, press new, then calling it wherever you like, I'll, cr I'll call it grand. Okay, so then you pose your scene wherever you like, like let's move cube a little by pressing G, of course, and let's create a lamp for our texture. Let's grab it a little up so the shadows will be not like mm, dumb. Okay, so if we want to bake it now and we have the scene set up. Like, we have lamps, we have our objects in places. We just go to render settings, we go down, and there's bake options. Yeah. You go to shadow and you press bake if you want to bake shadows. But if we would bake now, there would be no shadows. You ask why? Because our lamp, if we go to lamp settings, has none shadow set up, so it means it makes light, but it's not making shadow. So we have to make ray shadow here. Well, 100% black shadows doesn't look really realistic to me, so I make it a little grayish. You can do it whatever you like, like bluish, yellowish, but this is the way I do it. So go to render settings again and on shadow on shadow selected press bake. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I have the lamp selected, and lamp doesn't have texture or something, so I can't bake lamp. So first, select the plane. <laughs> okay, and bake it. Sorry for mistaking. So yeah, as you see down there, I already baked shadow, but if we go to texture view, texture mode, like here, um, you can see it already. That doesn't look really realistic, does it? <clears throat> so, if we have other textures or something, you can just select full render and bake it. Um, some of things change, like there would be occlusion and other things. So, yeah, now it looks more realistic. But it's still calculating, like, if I move lamp, it's still calculating, as you can see. Which means it's wrong. We have to go to material settings and select shadeless. Which means it's not calculating shadows anymore, it's already calculated. So, there it is, make shadows on ground. You can actually do the same to Q or wherever object you want to do it on. And if I would delete lamp now, nothing changed to end because it's already baked. So there it is, a tutorial for baking shadows. It's very simple and you can use it in your games. Come back later and see other things on my channel. Bye.